A community initiative geared at entertaining and honoring the senior citizens of Crooked Tree Village took place on Sunday afternoon at the government school in the village. About 100 men and women were honored at this event that was made possible through the collaboration of the Crooked Tree Village Council and a group of Belizeans who migrated to the United States and are currently living in Chicago, Illinois. Daryl Tillett is the village chairman. We are honoring our senior citizens today on a special occasion for them today. It's supposed to be from Christmas, but due to the weather, we keep pushing back, pushing back until today. We have um, some partners in the U.S., some born and grow citizens of Kukidri, who have the same influence like we have for our seniors, and they have a big role to play in this. Alicia Cod Contreras was born in Crooked Tree and migrated to the U.S. in 1996. But despite the distance, she, along with the other organizers, namely Gilbert Pook and Paula Westby Thomas, have not forgotten where they came from or their childhood in the village. The funding of the event was held via contributions from the village council, as well as fundraising events in Chicago, Illinois. We did barbecue. Um, fundraiser, dinner, um, with rice and beans and different stuff to, to raise money with the help of a um, few Crooked Tree and Belizean people as well. The idea behind it is because of all the things that the senior citizens used to do for us when we were little. They, they supported us in many, many different ways, so we decided to go with the seniors. There was an award ceremony for the senior citizens where five women and five men received a trophy and a sash, while everyone received a Christmas card containing 10 U.S. dollars each. We raised enough money so we could um, put some, the envelope together for each senior, senior citizen here in, in, in Crooked Tree. On behalf of my two partners in Chicago, Paula Thomas and uh, Gilbert Pook, I, we, I just want to say thanks to everyone. All of them live right here in Cookie Tree and some of them don't see each other for a long time. And this is the time now so they can mingle with each other and greet each other. Love News attended the event and spoke with three of the men and women at the luncheon. We spoke with 80-year-old Maggie Rayburn, 84-year-old Danielle Crawford, and 84-year-old Godwin Westby. I'm so happy I can't explain it. I feel very good. Are you having fun today? Yeah, I have a lot of fun today. Are you happy that they did this? Yes, I am very happy. What did you enjoy most about today? Oh, the playing games and the good thing. I'm well happy with what is going on, especially since one of my daughter, who is in America, is involved in it. What was your favorite part of today? I well, I am. My trophy. One of my daughter and a very good friend is involved in the organization, so I'll ask them to continue and make it even better. Alicia Cod Contreras still visits from time to time, and with this recent visit, she has touched the hearts of all the elderly folks in the village, especially Miss Maggie Rayburn. She is such a darling to me, and I want to tell her how much I love her. And she means so much to me. Especially when my husband was alive. She was his baby. Alisa, born right next door to me. But my husband loved her so much. I can't explain it to you today how I feel. Reporting for Love News, I am Renee Trujillo.